So let me just <laughs> do some technical things. Hold on. Um, so I'm actually having a live Soul Work Transformational session. And let me just set this up. First, I'm trying to find my video. Or may have to redo this video. <clears throat> Let me see. Ah, okay. So you can join in for my session right now. Just I'm um, just doing <clears throat> a few things. Okay. I found it. So I'll start my session shortly, just a few more minutes. You can join in and settle in at the moment. I'm just typing a few things. So today's session will be a group session. Uh, let me see. I'm still <laughs> still working on some technical things. Okay, so <laughs> finish that. Okay, so I can start the session right now. So this session will be on Soul Work Transformational Session. So if anyone is in the session, hello, I'm Caroline Chan. and this is Johnny Tom at Econ Bowie. So for these soul, soul sessions, there will be healings, soul work, and energetic and activations being done, but it depends on what um, I, my spiritual team, and Source will be working on for the session. So if you want to join in um, actively, energetically as well, um, please uh, type yes or set the intention with Source and your spiritual team. And I will be starting the session really, really soon. So... Um, so let me connect with Source and my spiritual team of light right now. So I'll be starting the session. So um, whomever would like to join in, I'll wait for more people to join in for the session as I start soon. And you can set the intention with Source and your spiritual team right now I will just open up a space for you so I'm not sure I can see any messages popping in so for today's session is about open and allow to play and this is a very special uh, transformational work session and healing that I will be doing with Source and spiritual team and your spiritual team, you too will be present, including Source. So, as I will be recording this session right now, if anyone would join in for a later date, 
for this session in particular uh, you can still do the session with me so I will hold the energy in place with Sauce and my team for you so you can just re-watch the video, re-watch the video, the session and just do it along with me so let's get into it, uh, Sauce and my spiritual team is saying. So please, if you would like to join in, uh, just set the intention to joining in with Sauce, Divine Sauce, and your Divine Spiritual Team of Light for this healing soul work session. So today, um, I will right now open a safe space for everyone, including myself, my team, your team, Sauce and any other divine beings of light, including Ascended Masters, depending on who your spiritual team is calling in to need help at this very moment for the session. So we'll be working on a piece called Open and Allow for Play. So I'll wait for everyone to settle down in, set the intention, and really work with your team, um, those who would like to join in. So I'm just looking at everyone's energetic bodies, everyone, everyone's energetic fields, your team too, are present, and source. So, okay, everyone's in, settled in, and let's start the session. So today's piece is open and allow for play. So it will be pretty a pretty exciting um, work that we will do. So let me take a look at what's needing to be done. So first piece from your team, my team, and source is saying... Um, what have you bought yourself from opening and allowing to play in your world? What, what was it that you bought from yourself? Because that would be a, one of the key, um, keys to open up the door, to allow yourself to open and allow for play. So what was it they are saying? And... I'm seeing a few answers from your team, my team, and source about this. And there's a lot going on with more um, other souls consciousness, other souls, um, other souls ways of thinking how you should be how you should act that you felt that you have to buy yourself from play buy yourself from exploration and this had inhibited you immensely a lot in many many ways um, in ways of your thinking in ways of your being in ways of you exploring of, of fun, of actions, even your gestures, everything um, that have been really restricted. And they, they are giving me this piece to let you know about it. Although most of you who watch this video, this session, will have an inkling about this, that this had happened in the past. So... Right now, um, we will go into the next part, the next piece that my team and source is saying to work on. So we will help to clear and cleanse and release this blockage that you have bought yourself from, particularly in this session, what we've mentioned in this previous piece. And really release a lot about it. So you have been using so much of these mechanisms you have took on. So these mechanisms is like ways of beings, ways of acting that you have gotten into a habitual pattern in using these. And we are, including your team, working on really releasing your reference points on 
on using these mechanisms, using these ways to feel um, to feel like you need to depend on something, you like, like you need to be a certain way to to get attention, to get self gratification. But source and your spiritual team is saying that um, this isn't the way. This isn't the best way. This isn't the best way to help another person, a loved one, a closed one. And right now, shifting these points to, to you, to a better place, to your divine, your true divine light, to the empowered you. And really, um, right now, they're just really attaching to you, fortifying and attaching to you and reminding you about your fun responsibility responsibility, fun responsibility in really being you, in really taking up the mental, to just have fun, to be you, to have fun without obligations, without feeling like you need to fit the mold, without feeling like you need to be someone that you are, you are not um, from other people's expectations of you, from other people's non-true way of being the mechanisms that they use as well were not really true were not really the best for them but they may have imposed on you at one time or another and you got in, into a habitual pattern in taking up these so really releasing about these and they are bringing healing um, healing mantras to really release these beliefs, thought patterns, ways of thinking, ways of being. And and reminding you, so they're placing a hand on your chest where your heart is located and reminding you here. Reminding the power of you, reminding the fun responsibility. It isn't much of... Um, because some of you they are showing me have that feel pretty burdened when you have the responsibility that you are able to come from the power of you to do to do whatever that you love with with source with your team with what source is guiding you but you have um, felt flinching from the responsibility whenever you hear about responsibility you flinch and they're just saying that True responsibility isn't really, um, isn't like this. And they're reminding you the true responsibility for, with yourself, with you. And to really um, step up to it. And they're uh, asking me to tell you the fun, funness, play of responsibility, of enjoying it, of just doing it and taking up that action of doing it and not really feel otherwise so they are working on this piece so i'm still seeing healing mantras that they are sending to really help to release and clear all of these because it's pretty pretty much a tough um, a tough work so I'll let that happen So the next piece that they are showing right now is they are bringing healing energetic grids and systems more like mechanisms of how you are able to um, better ways of really coming into healing of these blockages that you had before. So this first piece that they are going to work with. So I'll let them do it. 
And then the second piece is really stepping into new ways of playing, which all of you are smiling at. <laughs> So I'll let that do let let them do it. So all of these are work done in the higher realms. So in a way in the higher realms where source your higher spiritual team of light is able to work with you energetically. Work with your soul and me, my team, and source as well. So I'm seeing this energetic piece, the first one, to help to release and clear what has been blocking you. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot of, um, it feels like a lot of blockage to you. It feels like it really, it feels so much going on. And um, almost all of you who are who join in and some of you who are listening to this um, don't really know how to release it and and they're just really helping to move through the process first piece is really how to release this and to really work with this on an, a physical level so what you can do physically because energetically needing to shift the energy even though we are doing it in the higher planes energetically shifting um, doing this soul work so physically they're sending information and me and my team is trying to help to relay this with your team how to do this what are the solutions for you it can be it can be um, trying artisan flower teas it can be doing up your hair it can be a lot of different ways um, they're just showing me and they're just showing me to really be open about this um, not to not to um, be closed up with possibilities so the reason why you may feel a little block with physical solutions about play, having fun, is because of all these blockages that we are trying to work, work on. So as they are finishing the first piece of working on these, So if anyone had left me a message, I will check on it later on. Um, I'm not seeing comments popping up here. So the second piece, they are bringing it, bringing it in right now. And they want me to share with you to remind you that it is safe to play, to have fun, to to go about doing what you love. Um, a lot of the restrictions they're sharing that other souls have placed on you is really a restriction that um, To be honest, they, they don't really know how to get out of it as well. And, and your sense of self-worth, your sense of self-confidence in you having fun, you having play, including your self-value have been greatly affected. Because every time, this may, this may resonate with all of you, every time you play, you will feel like you've done something majorly wrong. 
I mean play play from inside out playing from inside out so really like genuinely having fun genuinely having play and you will feel like you'll feel like you've done something really wrong so that is that layer they are working on as well the main layer so they are finishing the second piece and I'm seeing that um, all the spiritual teams, your team, my team, and source are helping out with cleansing of your energetic fields and bodies with regards to this session, with regards to what, what, what we have working through, what we are working through for this session. And really releasing a lot of the pain, struggles, a lot of struggles. Because all of you have been trying to get back onto this stream, onto the stream of play, having fun, but um, keep going through this resistance, a lot of resistance. So I'm just seeing a lot of struggle, like very much a struggle. So this cleansing um, will help to really cleanse away those struggling energy that you had and I'm seeing that So right now, um, all of your spiritual team, my source, and spiritual team are working on closing the session. So really working with your energetic fields, your energy bodies, to ensure that they are cleansed, balanced, aligned, and grounded. And all of your energetic fields and bodies are updated reference points everything that you received for the session today are kept safe and protected with them are grounded in a way because when for example the peace so they are closing the session so the piece when i was talking about reference point is it feels like um it feels like a point where you attach so much you attach onto a particular person a particular thing but it feels pretty tough to get it off so usually um most of the reference point that I refer to have some weight to it so it feels pretty heavy to release them and I would say needing your team's help to do that and my team including my help to really release from this attachment because you have um, placed so much weight or as I go through healing work and as I go through um, other energetic work, I see this happen a lot of the time. And of course, um, as souls, when you go through your healing journey, you know that you know that um, perhaps it's wrong to do a certain thing. Like it's not really, really right to feel um, angry at another person. And then you want to lift those off. You want to detach from the anger. You want to lift those off. But, but it gets so difficult to do that. And one reason is me referring to the weight of your of the point that of that attachment that had happened. And it is pretty some instances it's heavy. Some instances for some people it isn't really heavy to lift it off. And I would say um, 
for this session we were doing about this so um, yeah if you are a bit unfamiliar with me working like this um, I would say you can look at my YouTube videos for soul work transformational session and you will be much more familiar with the work about this as I talk on these um, these terminology these phrases um, these sentences or these words I will be making a separate video though though I'm actually recording the 14 day trial <laughs> sessions right now so um, yeah and my hands are pretty full on a lot of things um, but anyway um, everything's completed and um, do a final grounding for all of you and um, I'm seeing as a final sending from your spiritual team my spiritual team and source like what is else is needed um, to help mainly open you up to play and it can come up like a feeling a sense a sense of feeling more 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 um more feeling urged to open up to this it can also come up like this which most of you will feel that after this session it can last up to a number of days and if you really want to work on this piece this that we work in this session i suggest you to re-watch the video and it will help you a lot so yeah so everything is complete right now and i hope everyone enjoyed it so i'll just take a look if there's any comments because I come I can't really see the <laughs> the comment section so okay oh hello Gisela <laughs> I can't see the comments somehow so um, if you have just joined in Gisela or anyone else you can rewatch the video after I ended the live session um, and just watch it again um, yeah for the entire healing work entire soul work session um, that I had actually done just now the energies will still be fresh and um, it will be fresh for quite some time so if you feel like you need to rewatch it again then just rewatch the video again so that's all for the session if anyone has um, questions you'd like to ask pertaining to this session, you can leave it down in the comments below. And then I'll take a look at it um, either today or tomorrow and get back to you then. So thank you all for joining in. Thanks. Bye-bye.